And the first phase of that is to recognize or become aware of the assumptions that you're holding, correct? That's exactly right. Because at any time, any of us can make these shortcuts in our, you know, we've just done it for so long, we forget about it. It's like, where do you drop your keys when you walk into the house? And it's just habit. So, you know, what do you buy into? And it's just habit. Make assumptions, the stereotypes, you name it. So we become aware of it when we recognize that we've done it. And we have to do that in, number one, becoming aware of the assumptions that we make, especially as it relates to those people biases, especially those in-group, out-group biases that I talked about. And what you want to do is take note of any unintended outcomes you might have by something you said or did. You may make a comment, and it looks like a person may have shirked back a little, maybe been a little offended. You want to pay attention to those unintended outcomes. Or as I said, with your tendency to go to your go-to people, the people who look like you or from your background, the unintended outcome is that you're also not developing people who are different. The other way that you come to recognize these biases is when you get feedback, that someone on the team or in the department or a colleague gives you feedback that what you said may not have been the most helpful or may have been stereotypic or may have been biased. You want to be able to hear and receive the feedback and learn that you can gain insight from others. 